Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 11. Time to talk about the weather, at least. We have the good, we have the bad. Just kind of depends what day of the week it is. That's right, Dan. We've got to get through tomorrow. The big game is tomorrow night, and we have a sloppy start in the morning. A mix of rain and snow showers, especially in our southern counties. That's where most of the snow will occur. But here, for the most part, we will have cold rain by the afternoon. This is a storm system that's going to pass to our south. But we will have some impacts, some cold rain showers in the lower elevations, a wintry mix as well. That's where most of the snowflakes will continue around, but it will be mixed with a good deal of rain and even some freezing rain as well into the eastern mountains and the higher elevations. We do clear up tomorrow evening, Sunday night, and gradually get warmer through the start of the next week. Now, we have some winter weather advisories in effect as this storm system moves through into the eastern mountains. That winter weather advisory for some freezing rain and some brief periods of snow on the highest mountaintops. A light glaze of ice accumulating mostly the eastern facing mountaintops in the eastern mountains. And that goes into effect tomorrow morning and continues through about 7 o'clock Sunday evening. We also have some advisories in the southern parts of our viewing area, even in the Pike County, Kentucky, down in that direction. And that winter weather advisory goes through midnight Sunday night into Monday. So again, freezing rain is the biggest concern. A glaze of ice in some of the eastern mountains, southern parts of the viewing area, even down into Beckley to our south and east. A little bit of ice accumulation. We could have a few slick spots on the roadways here as well. Some travel for I-64, I-77. A little bit slippery there in the morning as this storm system moves in. Right now on the radar and satellite, mostly cloudy skies. Okay, the clouds starting to thicken. We do have some rain showers starting to make their way northward from Tennessee and Virginia, and it should be arriving here by about 7 in the morning tomorrow. Here is a low pressure area. This is the storm system developing down in the south. There's been a lot of heavy rain through Mississippi and parts of the Gulf states tonight, and that system is going to ride just to our south and east and bring us a few rain showers by tomorrow morning. Mixed with a few snowflakes by 7 in the morning. Still some rain through the middle of the day, but notice that mix. This is some freezing rain down here into the eastern mountains by about 10 a.m. Still, some of these models putting the rain showers more south of Charleston in the afternoon. So even before sunset, I wouldn't be surprised to see a peak or two of sunshine. But still, mostly cloudy skies by 6 o'clock. Most of the activity ending here in Charleston, but still some slippery conditions for travel to the south and the east. So just in time for the big game, things do clear out. And overnight, a cold evening. Could be a little bit slick for Monday morning as any water remaining on the ground could easily freeze up as we drop below freezing with clear skies and calm winds again to start the work week. Monday, though, looking to be really nice. Mostly sunny skies there in the morning. Temperatures in the 40s and then warming up for the afternoon with some sunshine there as well into the 50s. So gradually getting a little bit warmer each day this week. But keep in mind, though, even though we'll be in the 40s by the afternoon tomorrow, look where that cold air is. It's not too far away. A lot of it's still in the higher elevations, the eastern mountains. So with a good deal of warm air mixing in, we're not too far away from the cold air. And that does present the opportunity for some light ice accumulation, especially the bridges and the overpasses, the higher elevations. Not a whole lot of snow from this system. Most of that down into Virginia and North Carolina and Tennessee. That's where most of the snow accumulation will be more likely to occur. So temperatures in the 40s for tomorrow, a cold rain, slippery in the morning. So if you have any morning travel plans, take it a little bit easy out there and a wintry mix with some freezing rain into the eastern mountains. Your game day forecast for tomorrow night. Again, be careful out there in the morning. We do dry out for the evening, but those temperatures will drop below freezing again Sunday night and into Monday. So if you're out late, be mindful. It could be a little bit slippery into Monday morning as well. So let's go into this week. A ridge of high pressure develops. Cloudy skies Wednesday night. We'll be in the 70s for Wednesday, which is really warm. But notice on Thursday, that makes things a little bit unsettled. A good deal of rain showers, even a couple rumbles of thunder in the southeast Ohio Thursday during the day before a cold front approaches. A couple thunderstorms late Thursday night into Friday brings us back to reality. So after a stretch of warm weather through the middle of the week, unsettled Thursday night, and our temperatures go back down to the 40s for Friday, into next weekend we'll be below normal with mostly sunny skies.